hanging out. Yeah. In your field, do you have someone that is dyslexic? Just anyone that's dyslexic? Yeah, in my field, there are people who have all kinds of issues. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we have, yes, the answer is yes. There's also a kind of dyslexia that affects mathematics. Uh, I forget, it's got a similar sounding name like dysnumeria. There's another kind of word that affects how you view numerals. And, if, and you, it's hard to figure out what numerals you're looking at to identify the number that you're calculating with. So I have colleagues who have dyslexia. I have colleagues who are on the autism spectrum. I especially have colleagues who are on the autism spectrum. <laughs> and these are people who previously you would say, oh, they just weren't socialized. And then you read the, you read the symptoms of what previously was known as Asperger's and then, and then um, autism. I say, yep, that's, that's my advisor, that's my vet, that's my office mate. And so the difference is these are people who learned about, oh, we also have a high people with ADD, okay, with a, uh, uh, attention deficit disorder. So, so these are things that interfere with a person's ability to socialize. Interesting thing about high level science is you can just work at your desk. You don't have to have that conversation. You don't have to be the life of the party. You, you can still be productive in this world. And so what the people do is they learn what condition they have and they compensate for it. If they, it takes them longer to read something because of dyslexic, dyslexic, they allocate more time to get through it. You would be surprised how much extra time there is in a day to draw from. Time that most people spend doing nothing. <laughs> I don't want to say nothing. Most people, many people will spend watching hours and hours and hours of reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> when they could be learning or reading. So the answer is yes. And it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hurdle. It's a hurdle. But in the Olympics, what do you do when you come up to a hurdle? You jump over it. That's exactly right. So thank you for your question. Mm -hmm.